Hello and welcome to another episode of Moose's Gear Goo Review. I'm Moose and today I have a really exciting knife review. This is the Boker Plus uh, FR knife. The Boker Plus FR. Okay, so what I'm excited about is that this knife has recently replaced my EDC knife that I was carrying. Previously I was carrying... Um, the Spyderco Cat is still, like, for the money, my all-time favorite. And I still give it plenty of pocket time. But um, for what I do mostly on a daily basis, where I am, um, I carry this one uh, now almost every day. Um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful knife. Uh, it really has kind of a custom look and feel to it, um, especially when you don't see the logo. So... Um, but let's go over the stats. I'll talk about it, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, so overall length is 6.5 inches. The blade length is 2.875 uh, inches. The blade thickness is pretty thin at 0 0.09 inches. The overall handle length is 3.5 inches. The handle thickness is uh, 0.45 inches. Uh, the really nice thing with this knife is the weight. It's actually 1.96 ounces, so just under 2 ounces. Tremendously lightweight um, knife. So now getting into the blade shape, um, it's kind of a drop point, um, basic drop point blade. Um, a saber grind. It is a hollow grind, and then it has very nice little uh, sharpened bevel here, secondary bevel. Um there's no thumb studs on it. It's a satin finish, which is a really nice looking satin finish. We have the Barker Plus logo on the front of the blade there. And then we have the uh, BZ, standing for Brad Zinkerman, I believe it is. If I say that wrong, I apologize. Um, and then we have VG10, so it is a VG10 steel blade. Uh, very minimalist looking blade, very simple you can see that it isn't squared off at the top. It's actually rounded, uh, which gives it a really smooth and sleek look when it's folded. Uh, plus, there's no like jagged, sharp edges when you're reaching in pocket, so it's very nice. It just looks beautiful. It is a flipper design. Uh, we have some texturing on the flipper there, if you can see it. not sure if the camera will pick it up. Um, but it does help to kind of connect in. Uh, but usually I end up pulling rather than pushing. But you can do a push launch of it. Uh, the knife operates on bearings. Uh, but they're very hard to see in there. And they work really well. I don't usually go for bearings just because they're a little bit more tricky to keep clean or keep working well. But this thing just, oh, so smooth. Uh, so working into the handle, we have nice consistent lines through the handle. Uh, we have Coca Bola wood scales. So uh, kind of a dark, a darker red color to the Coca Bola. Looks really nice. Very classy looking. And it's shadow boxed by the titanium frame or uh, liners. So. That makes up the handle is the titanium liners. They are not milled out, uh, which, you know, if they did, it would add a little bit of weight reduction. But even with that said, this is under two ounces, which is tremendous for a knife this size. Um, and it still feels robust enough to handle some, some smaller tasks. Uh, it is floated through construction. We just have the pivot pin and then the back spacer pin back here there's probably a floating stop pin in there that circles around with it um, but it still gives it a very clean look i really like that the titanium uh, liners are actually stone washed it gives it kind of that other like three distinct textures and looks within the blade so we have the satin the stone wash and then the natural wood of the coca bola and it just looks awesome the way they all layer in um 
There is a slight bit of jimping on the liner lock. The liner lock locks up really well and it doesn't stick at all. Um, I've had some trouble with other titanium liner locks that stick a little bit, but this has no trouble. It's just buttery smooth. I can't say how, how nice it is. And the weight is just ridiculous. It is a uh, one-way positionable pocket clip, but it is deep carry. Very nice. I like that kind of paddle-shaped pocket clip. Um, slides in really well. And uh, it's a titanium stone wash pocket clip. So it's uh, right-hand carry, tip-up only, which is fine with me. So... There is the knife. I absolutely love it. It holds an edge. This VG10 on this is really excellent. Holds an edge really well. Super sharp. And because of the thinness of the blade, this is just an excellent slicer. So it just works great. As far as if you're like a more stylish per uh, stylish <laughs> stylish person, I'd probably go for this knife in general just because it looks really nice, um, and it's really light, so it won't tear or pull down on any kind of dress slacks or nicer materials. So it's one to think of there. Uh, let's do a quick comparison. So I got the Buck Apex, Spiderco Cat, Spiderco Sage 5, and the Benchmade North Fork. Uh, as you can see, blade lengths. Um, the FR is just under 3 inches. The uh, Apex is a little shorter. The Sage 5 is about 3 inches. The Cat is about two and a quarter inches and the bench made north fork is at about three inches handle wise it's similar to the cat a uh, very tight package there uh, looking at the blade thicknesses it's hard to tell because the spine is rounded but i'd say it's about the same thickness as the buck apex i love this knife by the way <laughs> uh sage five uh, is actually much thicker much more robust knife Spiderco Cat, uh, thicker as well, though the handle thickness looks fairly similar. And then the Benchmade North Fork looks about the same. You can see the difference in the wood. This is a diamond wood and this is a Coca Bola. Uh, adding wood handle scales to more modern designs really gives it a unique appeal. And really changes the aesthetic of it but definitely makes it a gentleman's carry very modern and uh, stylish looking so let's see here last little test is the ugly brown glove test I can open it fine close it fine uh, the coca bola is a little bit slick but that little bit of finger guard from the flipper holds it in enough that's still a little slick though. I wouldn't necessarily want to use gloves with this. I'd say, you know, because I can operate the mechanism and still fire the knife, it is usable with the glove in that capacity. Grip needs a lot of work though. So I'd say it passes. I'll give it 70%. Uh, but there you go. Uh, guys, this is an awesome knife. I can't say enough about it. Even if you're not stylish or trendy, this definitely fits into an excellent urban EDC category as well as a gentleman's folder. Um, it is a very beautiful knife. I think price-wise, it's sitting around $80 to $90, um, and it's totally worth it. For this knife, for this uh, weight, and this stylish look, you can't beat it. Um, so incredibly pr impressed. Uh, definitely check it out. Please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. Click the I in the upper right-hand corner to reviews of some of these other knives, um, as well as click either of these two boxes for uh, some other videos and click that circle down there for uh, to subscribe. So thank you guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you outside.